Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're going to talk about uh, when you turn the printer on, uh, it's not going to be on. It could be something as simple as a burned power supply. But today we're going to focus on a, a toast motherboard. A good hint is if you smell grilled cheese whenever you turn on the printer, probably the motherboard is fried. I'll post a link about how to remove this scanner above, so you can click and see how I open it up and then remove the scanner, so I don't have to repeat myself. Uh, there's a screw above, and then there's a screw below the power supply. Sorry, I didn't catch that when I removed the screw from below. Just look down, you can see it. Remove those two, you can get the power supply off. Hook up a multimeter, you can, uh, you can check uh, the uh, power supply, and I'm not going to repeat here. Uh, the cable is pretty easy to remember. You get a white cable, then you get a black cable. Then you get a white cable with uh, black wires. Uh, both those two cables, are the blue side is facing left, the metal side is facing right. And there are two screws on the top. And there's a tiny cable on the bottom and the whole thing just slide right out. This chip is what you're paying money for. Luckily, most of our malfunction chips are uh, pretty cheap to replace. Uh, this uh, driver chip uh, sometimes get burned. I'll show you, show you how to replace it in the next video. If I'm gonna make another one, uh, anyway, uh, there are lots of people who view my video, but not many people, people like it. So I'm start thinking uh, maybe uh, you guys don't need uh, this really deep uh, knowledge about how to fix stuff. Maybe I'll just say something simple. Anyway, this is my first try. Um, yeah, we're going to work on those two really, really likely to be burned. This is the first thing you want to check. Uh, those letters, if you shine with the iPhone with a different angle, really easy to see the, the markings. Uh, if you need any parts, you can go to bchtechnologies.com, printer parts. And uh, today we're talking about electronic boards and assembly. And uh, then on the left hand side, you're going to see all the selections. So we're going to select a main board. And here's the here's the driver chip we talked about earlier. I have a problem. See, it's only like a couple bucks. And here's the transistor pair. A222 and uh, 2SC6144. If you don't know about transistors, uh, don't worry. Uh, I'll explain really, really simple. So uh, A222 is a PNP transistor. And the other one will be NPN transistor. You may have a different uh, transistor uh, uh, on the second transistor. But the first one always the same is A222. So you imagine you glue two dials together. So the conventional current can only flow from the uh, according to that uh, uh, arrow. Okay, that triangle, the direction of that triangle arrow. So the positive can flow from two to one, but it cannot flow from one to two, because that uh, triangle is facing the wrong way. If you want to flow from one to two, uh, you can test it with this little tester. Uh, I highly rec recommend you get one. It's uh, from e you can get from eBay for ten dollars. It's one two eight six four tester. You just have the letter facing you. Put it on the first uh, three pins. Push the red button. It will tell you if it's good or not. So it so it confirmed this PMP. Uh, uh, this is PMP, uh, and uh, one is base, and uh, two is co is collector, three is emitter. If you only have a multimeter, and we can test with the multimeter, it only confirm that this is not bad, but it doesn't confirm this uh, this is good. So it confirm conventional current can go from two to one, and uh, not from one to two, and then from three to one, but not from one to three. Okay, that was a new transistor. Uh, to test those old transistors, you cannot test them on board. You have to take them off. If the first transistor is PNP, the next transistor got to be NPN. There's no ex exception. And uh, the same thing as uh, PNP, it just everything is reversed. 
the two triangles reversed. So now the current can flow from 1 to 2, but not from 2 to 1. Oh, by the way, when I say 1, 2, 3, those legs, uh, the letters on the transistor has to be facing you. So that's the correct, uh, that's correct orientation. We'll get the board. Uh, use a permanent marker, write down 2 and 6. 2 is A222, and uh, 6 is uh, 6144. The letters on transistor should be facing the number you wrote. So when you bend it down, you cannot see the numbers on the transistor. Uh, anyway, uh, do not do this. Do not test them on board. It doesn't make any sense. Well, again, uh, you don't have to buy any of those testing equipment. Uh, if you happen to have a uh, solder iron like me, uh, just go desolder it. Uh, if you don't, uh, maybe uh, search YouTube. Fat guy doing setup. Oh, no, uh, that's not what I'm here for. Anyway, uh, how to solder desolder without a solder iron? So here are some suggestions how to solder desolder without the solder iron. Uh, also, solder iron is not that expensive, it's really a uh, nice tool to have around. Normally, if those uh, transistors are defective, I'll just go ahead and uh, change them without a uh, uh, further test uh, uh, driver chip. So you can see uh, it takes a long time to self-test. It probably is bad. And uh, I'll just throw it there and uh, prepare to replace them. I remember the number and the letters are towards us. And uh, we're going to put our number two slot. Okay, boys and girls, don't try this at home. Uh, before I fully just put all the screws back, I'll just uh, connect a couple cables and uh, try it out. The most important is uh, this uh, front panel cable and uh, the power cable. Hold your breath. Nice. It's going to air out because the lost cable not connected. When you put it in, the board is sitting on that little notch. And uh, on the left side, you have to pull a black lever back to, uh, then when the le black lever falls back, it goes right into the, uh, the two slots on the motherboard. And then you can see here. So, so when you go back, it goes to the middle. Uh, the rest is easy. You can just refer to the earlier part of this video. And also, again, uh, I post a previous previous video about how to take the scanner off. Uh, you can get the link above. Okay, you guys ready? There was a time not long ago when printer cartridges were so expensive. So expensive. And PCH came out to play the Quality cartridges save the day, oh, oh, oh.